Hi guys, today we're gonna show you how to resolve the CMOS problem when it's always like anytime you restart your computer or you turn it off, it goes back to the CMOS date and time not set. So first of all, we're gonna start by replacing the battery on the uh, BIOS on the desktop. I will show you the location. Where can we find it? On the computer. Okay, right here as we can see, right here, this is the battery for the the BIOS. Uh, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to uh, replace it with the new one and see if we still have the error message. So I'll be back once I replace it and then continue the video. Okay, there you go. We're gonna just uh, try to remove this battery from the motherboard. Check the old one. It look exactly like this. Take her off and then put new one and see if that will resolve the problem so anytime we're gonna put it we're just gonna put one side and then just press the other side and you should hear the click that's when it's installed now we're gonna um, make sure you unplug your computer okay, put it back then turn on the computer and we go check Heard the beep. That's mean it's. We're gonna go ahead and set up the time. Okay, so it's four. Advanced primary board video card PC system enables USB legacy mode support. Just gonna go ahead and disable it for a moment and see if that one makes it different. Okay, go ahead save changes and restart. And there you go, as you see, now it's resolved the problem. Let's just make sure the times and everything is up to date. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to restart the computer, make sure the problem is resolved. So click on restart. There you go, we didn't see the error message, so by replacing the um, BIOS battery, it worked for me. If you have any questions, leave the comments below. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up so we can add more videos. And subscribe to our channel so you can see our new videos all the time. Thank you so much.